Hello, today we will talk about serum electrolytes. What are electrolytes? Why our body needs them? What are the tests which can be done to measure them? How are they done? And in what conditions the levels increase and decrease? About this, I shall give you some basic information. What are electrolytes? Electrolytes are the ions which help in maintaining the homeostasis of the body. What are common electrolytes that are screened by various tests? The common electrolytes that are routinely screened are sodium, potassium, chloride, bicarbonate and calcium. Why does our body need to balance the amount of electrolytes? Electrolytes are important in maintaining the fluid balance of the body as well as the pH balance of the body. Apart from that, certain cells like nerves and muscles need electrolytes to maintain the voltage across the membranes so that they can function properly. How is this test done? For measuring serum electrolytes, a blood sample is taken which is usually withdrawn from the arm of the patient. Is there any special instruction that is given before the test? Usually, morning samples should be taken for this test as diet and exercise can affect electrolyte balance. When can doctor ask for measuring serum electrolytes? If the patient has any condition which can affect the fluid balance of the body like nausea, vomiting, then the doctor may ask for this test. Apart from these, in kidney diseases and heart diseases also, this test is asked for. If the patient has symptoms like confusion or cramps, then also this test can be asked for. What conditions can cause deranged serum electrolytes? There are a number of diseases which can affect electrolytes level in blood. For example, kidney diseases, heart diseases, diabetes mellitus can affect electrolyte levels. Can drugs affect the electrolyte levels in blood? Yes, there are many drugs that can affect electrolyte levels. For example, certain drugs like steroids, oral contraceptive pills can increase the levels of sodium and chloride. On the other hand, drugs like antidepressants and diuretics can decrease the levels of sodium and chloride. For bicarbonates, drugs like barbiturates and loop diuretics can increase their level. Drugs like tetracycline can decrease the levels of bicarbonates. Certain medicines which are given to lower the blood pressure of the patient can result in lowered potassium levels in the patient. 